a chroma break. Uh, thunderstorm rolled in, knocked out part of my progress. That was fun. I was just letting this sit in the background and, you know, doing dispatch missions. Got that. I got Damn this. It. Nothing of any worth to me. And I unlocked the second area. But I haven't got all the loot out of this one yet, so I didn't do it yet. I have one too. Hey, I set up auto feed, that's why that sixty is there in the corner. Oh, you might probably turn that back down. Because I was watching TV and whatnot. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, they even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorized Midgand, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that rob small civilian ships on the slum. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> but that'd be too boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. And that's why Eifried goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like him. The guy who overheard us, because you're standing right here, I might have to murder you now. Sorry. Crabs are amazing, right? Oh yeah! They're delicious, boiled or grilled! Even their innards are yummy! And five sets of legs, that's so many! That's all true, but what really makes them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks which lets them get away. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Huh, I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, we can make a killing by selling Dial tails. Would they be... tasty? No idea. Ugh. No way. One anime about the roach guys. That had a crab person in there. He had regenerative capabilities. That's why I already knew that. I can't remember what the fuck that's called, though. It's a pretty good anime, too. Weird. Violent. I don't know why I can't remember the name of it. Oh, because my memory is shit. That's why. <sighs> the wind's kicking and the tide's flowing. And we're stuck here. Here are not set sail? Not going to happen. The Ember. Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. And we would need their permission. Why? The kingdom keeps a strict watch on harbors and sea routes. It's like they've erected walls and gates in the sea. Aha. Uh -huh. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships, they can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Exactly. 
They even created that fortress, Vortigern, to help them do just that. It's restrictive, but it's also necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who can stand against them. Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves. Rosie. Defaults just blends into her skin. Unimpressed. Oh, okay. oh no, it's not. Yeah, those are cosmetics. Basic. I don't feel like doing all that. That seems like a pain in the ass. you screen tearing that one little corner on sale we'll buy it Figure anything that's extra, it's fine because, you know, I can break it down later.
I've heard there's a prison island somewhere where they keep the worst of the worst, but it's a hard tale to swallow. It's That's true. probably not true. And the rumors that hundreds of demons are in prison there? Fact. People say that no one has ever escaped from there alive. That one's a lie. After all, we're here. Wait, you don't mean... Keep your mouth shut. Otherwise, you'll fare worse than anyone on that island. Y yes sir I didn't hear a thing. Scouts have reported seeing a powerful demon. Its danger level has been classified as Code Red. Understood. I'll notify the Abbey we have a Code Red demon in our midst. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Right! With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a Code Red demon? It's like a most wanted list for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around ten such demons across the territories. Oh, they sound pretty tough. That would be putting it lightly. Suffice it to say, you wouldn't want to face one unprepared. Then we'd best be prepared. Let's get going. While we're wasting time here, the Abbey is digging in. You said you heard about Eifried on the prison island, right? I heard an exorcist legate named Melchior took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogilu? Word is he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. No one even knew what cell he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. Weird. I mean, if they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him, then? We've cast our nets wide, and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him, though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive, and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways, or bend his knee on anyone's orders. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. Uh, if that bat I killed was one of those things. Oh. Well, that's finally a thing. Took it long enough. Why did you come back to us? I could tell you all missed me something awful. We didn't. At all. And what about your search for this traitor? He slipped away yet again. I've no clue where he ran off to. You're <clears throat> a witch. Can't you use a spell or something? My spellcraft works kind of like a three-legged race. It simply requires my backstabbing slippery accomplice. 
Like a con artist needs an accomplice. I am not a con artist! I'm not going to help you find your traitor, you know. How cold! Such an icy stare could freeze fire! And you don't have anyone else? Hmm. Well, no. Do you have a home to return to? Nope. Do you know a trade other than magic? Nope. Uh, what is it, Lafayette? Um... Magilu's story made my chest feel funny. And my nose is runny. The witch has no friends, no home, and no purpose. I think what you're feeling is pity. Pity? It's when you feel sorrow for someone else. I... pity Magilu. Oh, pity come the on! Yeah, I learned some new dishes, didn't I? I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Dark and light! Wait. 
How's that? You're wide open! Yeah. 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 We're finished here. Let's go. Unarmed? <laughs> Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make... Take a look at this. Can't seem to get that one last item. I got all except the one. See? Scout ships. Let's move on.
You know, just spam the button. Wait, you're coming too? Wow, those walls, they're so huge. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of Slave Malakim. Why the surprise, Lafayette? You've been here before, right? I have. But back then... I was not who I am now. I see. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire, and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorius. That's it. Move in or die! Let's go! Deception! Killing flash! But I'm this close! I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Next! Deception! This is the Reaper's power! Let's go! Hurricane! One down! Come on, really? from me. Start the game, getting some flickering.
see it anymore. much damage too quickly there. Like where that fight was going. Probably should have fought it out though. You better be ready. See this? Alright, <laughs> right, I also have that. I forgot all about that. I'll totally use it now and then. Even as you gain strength based on how much you use it. There's no triggering, there we go. gear on too. I'm trying to level everything up. You better be ready. No, 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 no. <laughs> That random thing popping up. I'll cut down anyone in my way.
You'll be rushed on my blade. We're finished here. Let's go. On to battle! Hold up! Hold up! It's no escape! See this? Hold up! It's a bubble! It's a wind blast! No mercy! Wounds I won't shield! Hard to deflect! Lethal pain! Take that! Devour! Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. I'm here with the tree. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. Your face is all stiff. I know. I don't look suspicious. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh, um... Well? Your travel permit from the Abbey? Where is it? <laughs> Foolish girl! How many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. Magician? Verily, I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as... Magilu's Menagerie! Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to! Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. You, you, you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. Act like a dove! Coo coo. <laughs> Remember, Muggy Lou's Menagerie manufactures mirth. That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Logris. Hey, you can't advertise here. Move along. <laughs> As you say. <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Muggy Lou. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Cuckoo. <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze! Cuckoo! Those doves were amazing. Just a crude trick. 
If anything, it just shows the Capitol's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the Capitol? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the Capitol. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Luffy's velvet. Like demons are still roaming, so not like it really worked. It's kind of worked. Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's the crown prince. The crown prince? What happened to the king? The king is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crisis. <laughs> this king sounds like quite the guy. Prince Percival is incredible, too. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius in the Abbey. As long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is bright. Ask anyone. <laughs> Got it. So all of Midgand is on Artorius' side. Now, these soldiers are really shitty. You're supposed to turn away the commandant or general if... The president, even, if they come through without proper ID and all that. Well, the president will have, you know, an escort. You won't have to ask the president. But, you know, in theory, president shows up, he ain't got his ID. You don't say, you know, Mr. Trump, I know who you are, I'll let you in anyways. No. You do not let them in. The Abbey's job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization is this, Abbey? You're kidding me. How do you not even know that? The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests devoted to exorcising evil. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgand. Nowadays, its members are all called exorcists. I'm impressed. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? And for a side branch, they don't really strike me as humble. Of course not. The high priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. He's effectively retired. So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. That's not all. The prince also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military and government affairs during the crisis. Lord Artorius commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy to combat the demon blight. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgan Empire. The Abbey is its foundation, and its ray of hope. Well, okay, got it. The Abbey's a big deal. Okay. Oddly enough, when I hit that button on purpose, it's not coming up. That button? Nowhere near touching that. I thought it was one of the fucking sticks that was sticking. It's not good if my X button is sticking. Randomly triggering. 
Oh, maybe my hand's just lazy and I've been hitting it without meaning to. One way trip. Can't go back. I'm sure they will, dear. People are saying it's going to be a very important announcement about the Abbey. I want to see the Exorcists! We need to thank them for saving us from the demons! You're right. We all have to show them our gratitude and help them however we can. Yeah! I'll follow the rules, too. I won't be selfish. They sure are popular. Because these people don't know the truth. You think that's so? That the Exorcists are fighting the demons they themselves cannot. That's why the people support the Exorcists. Nowhere near touching that. What the hell's triggering it? That time I did it on purpose. I wanted to see if the button stuck, but it doesn't seem like it's sticking. Oh wait, yeah it is on one side. Well shit. I fix that. tuxedo mask kind of fits with his outfit my color, damn it. Take a look at this. Great. Let's do this one run gets you style, guys. Scout ships.
business with the chest over there is what I got business with. Dave sitting on my ass playing video games. Now, some of this game is just exhausting. Listen to those cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects, may I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. It'll be impossible to slip in now. After the opening ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon blight. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the Over land there. would not be lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now and would be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Coldbrand! Artorius! 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 None here, I trust, are unfamiliar <laughs> with Artorius's noble act. <laughs> To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Empyreans, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachim. But he's a murderer! Solve it! He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. But... You killed him! You took everything that I loved! So raise your voices in praise to Artorius' devoted work, to the Savior who purifies evil and guides our flock! Let us call him our Shepherd! Shepherd Artorius! Shepherd Artorius! Shepherd Artorius! Long enough for a shepherd reference. Shepherd Get a feather glove. Not a real shepherd unless you have a feather glove. Even though the world was filled with suffering. I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean Innominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory! The 
that you're the one who murdered. Fool, they'll see us. You're the one who killed Luffy said. What? The Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius? Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Peace, bitch. Farewell. May your Bye, days be full and your nights tormented. If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild. A tavern in the city, run by an old man called Baskerville, serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Put some guild? hounds in there? Those sorts of things actually exist. Uh. <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? My stomach made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. The exorcists sure were out in full force to see the shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? What about that guy you're after? Was he there? What, and have to stand around looking all proper? No, that's not his style. Then I thought he was one of the top exorcists. That wouldn't matter to him. Huh. All right. Actually, Velvet, speaking of the shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. That's what I figured. But don't get the wrong idea. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady and measured, and his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say with your that dick. all the body's spiritual energy gathers in a place about two finger widths below the navel. Even when he appears to be in a state of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. And I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Because now I want to take Artorius down too. There are those who believe that chi is stored in your balls, and that any time you masturbate or have sex, you lose some of your chi. Google it. I make that shit up.
perro. Time. Shepherd, savior of mankind who guides us through the darkness. What an appropriate title for Lord Artorius. I believe in him. As long as we have Shepherd Artorius, we'll make it through this era of disaster. Shepherd Artorius? How pompous can you get? Artorius has already seized control of all religious and secular power in Midgand. But now that he's taken on this new title, he's no longer just an authority figure. He's become the very hope of the masses. A dangerous opponent indeed. After seeing that, will you still fight him? Of course I will. He could be a god for all I care. I'll have my vengeance, no matter what. The first video game where God is the final boss. I wonder what was the first. Maybe Xenogears? First one I can think of. Might be something older. What'll it be? Some food for the boy. Mabo curry is our specialty. It takes a week to stew properly. Mabo curry? Some of that, then. Say, do you know a man named Baskerville? I heard we might find him here. That old man? A scoundrel and criminal who went against the rules of the Abbey. They executed him long ago. Oh. This Mabo curry is amazing. I haven't had curry in a while. You get along so well. Is he your brother? No. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother was murdered before your eyes. How do you know that? The shadows watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's arrest? That's right. Just like how Eifried's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. So you're the contact? What may I help you with? I want to know what Artorius is planning. Information such as that? It won't come cheap. I have here a list of jobs. Not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Side quest. Take this with you as documentation. It's fake, but it's a good fake. It'll hold up to inspection. Yeah, by it's Gar's registered to Mogulu's menagerie. Oh. Was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? <laughs> I can see you're a group to be reckoned with. Report back here once you're finished. However, be aware that should you fail... Then this conversation never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night, free of charge. Forget about work until the morning comes. Right. You're missing Captain Eifried. The captain has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Thanks. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. And that Legate Melchior is connected to the captain's disappearance. How? We don't know.
Sounds like you've got problems of your own. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? I could ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Me? Oops. I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. As ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? Hmm. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Exactly. I admire Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. If you can accomplish that, it takes strength. Real strength. And I'm curious where it comes from. So you're doing it for yourself after all. Is that so wrong? <sighs> no. I'm the same. I need allies on my side, with the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the Abbey. But anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of Eifried's pirates <laughs> has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. Big chance of ice. Aha. Uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Aye. That man flies his full flag proudly. Don't mix whiskey and sake. That's a bad idea. That's just a little hangover waiting to happen. The Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. I wonder... Hmm. Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroines scar this broken world of ours? I've got a traitor to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show. kind face for such a hard woman. She knew about me and our cover. She's got ears everywhere. And that's not all. She called the papers fake, but they're not. So she's got spies working on the inside, too. I heard that her predecessor, Baskerville, was a monument against authority. But to think he was executed. They've lost their leader, but remain unconquered. Not an organization to trifle with. That's how they have to be to take on the Abbey. We'd better succeed on our missions, and not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man of taste. That place always has the best. Uh, you'd better work hard, too, if you want more Mabo curry. I will. You know that place that always has the best when he doesn't go inland and hasn't been here before. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, 
So let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. Is if it explodes or poison or something? Turn really quick then. It'd say red crates. That means they explode. That ceremony was simply fantastic. Lord Artorius's speech was brilliant, of course, but Prince Percival was really something too. He raises up Artorius to help the country and its people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king. You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. He may look that way, but he has a great inner strength. He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly, I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. You seem like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. If anything were to happen to Prince Percival, the future of Midgand would be bleak. I see. So everyone's hopes are riding on him, then. Which means Midgan's vulnerable without him. Alright, I'm doing a shitload of yawning, so it's time to maybe go to bed. Probably get some more expeditions done if I see it done and I'm still awake. Otherwise, I won't. Funny how that works, huh?